Hello, my name is Adam and I'm here with my partner Mahmoud discussing the crash of the Mars Climate Orbiter. On November 10, 1999, the Mars Climate Orbiter Investigation Board released a Phase 1 report detailing the suspected issues encountered with the loss of the spacecraft. On September 8, 1999, which was prior to the uh, report, trajectory correction manu maneuver 4 was computed and then executed on September 15, 1999. It was intended to place the spacecraft at an optimal position for an orbital insertion maneuver that would bring the spacecraft around Mars at, at an altitude of 220 kilometers, which is equivalent to 140 miles, on September 23, 1999. However, during the week between TCM-4 and the orbital insertion maneuver, the investigation team indicated the altitude may be much lower than intended at 150 to 170 uh, kilometers. 24 hours prior to the orbital insertion, uh, calculations placed between the orbiter at an altitude of one, 110 kilometers. 80 kilometers is the minimum altitude that Mars Climate Orbiter was through ca to be capable of surviving during this maneuver. Post failure, Calculations showed that the spacecraft was on a trajectory that would have taken the orbiter within 57 kilometers of the surface, where the spacecraft likely disintegrated into atmospheric stress. Now, the primary cause of this, this, uh, this uh, discrepancy was that one piece of ground software supplied by Lockheed Martin produced results in a United States customer unit. Contrary to its uh, software interface specification, which is also known as the SIS, while a second system supplied by NASA expected those results to be in uh, science uh, units. In accordance with SIS, specifically software that calculated the total impulse produced by thruster firings calculated the results in pounds per second, while the trajectory calculation software used these results which were expected to be in newton per second to update the protect, protected position of the spacecraft. The discrepancy between the calculated and measured positions resulting in the discrepancies between desired and actual orbital insertion altitude had been noticed earlier by at least two investigators whose Concerns were dismissed. Now, a meeting of trajectory software engineers, trajectory software or, or operators, propulsion engineers, and managers was convened to consider the possibility of executing trajectory correction maneuver 5, which was in this schedule. Attendees of the meeting recall an agreement to conduct TCM 5, but it was ultimately not done. And so that was how it crashed. And thank you for watching.